The first thing is first, you want to remove all your trim panels. Now the dash bezel, that just pops right out. Got all these little clips, be sure you save these. And you got these Phillips head screws, one, two, and there's two more on the other side. So you're gonna wanna go ahead, take these off. Oh, geez. Like so. Drop my tools. That's where a drill will come in handy. All right, once those are out, you're gonna wanna go around, loosen these, looks like they're seven or eight millimeters from there. And there's a couple, might be a couple along here. They're supposed to be. There's one down here. So go ahead and get all those removed. And then I think over there, it just, the handle pulls out. I got the other dashboard. I'm using that as a reference. Once all those are out, this whole thing's just come out. And obviously mine's going to come out in pieces. So I'll go ahead and get that removed and go ahead and get the new one in. All right, once you get all the bolts taken out, there's one more thing you got to do. These vents, these pull right out like so. And there should be one screw behind that one. And there should be another screw behind this one. I can pull this off without breaking it. Like so. Another screw there. Go ahead and get those taken off. It literally looks like someone took a sledgehammer to this thing. All right, once you get these screws out, one more thing you gotta, in order to get this grab bar off, that's the only thing holding us up right now. See that little white pin? You push that in and it allows this to come out. And you gotta do the same thing to the other side. You go up in there, push that little pin in. All right, just comes right out like that. And this piece should pull right out, typically in one piece, but we don't have that option. All right. Pull all the pieces out if you're in the same situation I am. Jesus. I might have to take these off too to get the new one in. It's got those tabs. Take that defrost. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. Oh, there's a little sensor right there. I gotta take that out. This little sensor just twists out like that. Put that piece down there with the rest of them. Okay. Uh, oh, got a few stragglies. Make sure you get all the pieces out. Make sure there's nothing left because we go put the new one in. It's not going to line up correctly. Gotta get that piece out. You should just pull right out, I believe. Yep. Like that. Other side. There we go. Get this piece out. see anything that's a good sign all right so i can get the new one in all right here's the new <clears throat> dash panel um looks pretty good overall on the top side at least um uh, be sure to keep an eye on these clips there's supposed to be six of these and i'm missing half of them and these are on their way out they should not i was able to fix this one uh, not sure if i'm able to fix the rest of these I might toy with it a little bit more, but this one's no go. All the plastic's missing. It's not in the best shape either, but found the junkyard. It's better than what was in there. So I'm just gonna make do with what I have. So, all right, let's get to it. All right, dash is in, looking great. Got a small crack here, but it is what it is. Once you get all your bolts in, all your screws in, 
on the sides here. You can go ahead and put your trim pieces back in. Just get down to that groove until it clicks into place. Might take a little bit of effort. Make sure that clip is on like so. That's the problem with these clips. Once they age, they don't really do their job anymore. All right, that's a do. I don't know if there's a left and a right to these. Well, maybe there is. Let's try on this side. Lined up just right. There we go. This should just pop right in. Like that. Put this plastic piece in. Same thing, you gotta dick around with this fucking clip. Oh, maybe so stay in there. Alright, I'll take it. Alright, here's the cluster bezel. It's putting all the clips back on. As you can see, it's already got some. So it's gotta pop the rest of these back in. I don't know if there's an up and down to these, but I'm just going to go off of what these are. Just clip that in. Go all the way around. That's four. Five. Six. Oh, there is an up and a down. A little look. These ears. That's seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hmm, odd number. All right. All right, so when I took this out, I actually turned the key and put the truck in gear. Get the gear selector out of the way. All the way down to first gear. Make sure the wheel is as far down as possible. And snake this in like so. Gotta get this big piece over top first. There we go. Line up the square hole with the clip. Let's get one in. The rest of them should go in pretty easy. Let's make sure these guide pins are in correctly. Jesus. I think. All right. down some arm roll but yeah i think dad's gonna love it so hope this video was helpful yeah this is my first time doing it let's go ahead and get it cleaned up real quick all right let's go with a little bit of makeup i definitely consider this an upgrade that's just sitting there but the hole's too big or it's missing the top piece or something i'm not really sure but wouldn't go in 
and stay. So I just got to sit in there. But yeah, overall, looks pretty good. So if you guys found this helpful, give it a thumbs up. And thanks for watching.